Hey Lebron, so many times people ask me what kind of ROM I am using. Well, I am telling them that I am using a, just a stock ROM but with a few modified things here and there. For example, is the status bar icons. I am using the AOSP status bar icons and many people are requesting me to hand them the AOSP status bar. So what I personally replaced in the status bar is the battery icon, the signal, the packet data, the Wi-Fi the vibration and the downloading icon so yeah um, all of them are pretty much good in quality uh, as you can see here the only problem could be the packet data one the letters are a bit boring looking but it's not so bad so for people who want to have this all you need to do is you need to download the zip file from the link in the video description and put it somewhere on your SD card then after that you should be familiar with what you need to do you need to power off your phone and you need to boot into recovery mode. It can be either the stock recovery or the cocoa mode recovery. So just boot into whatever recovery mode you have. In my case I have cocoa mode recovery because I'm using one XP's kernel and it has cocoa mode recovery integrated so whenever I boot uh, I hold the three key combo I go to cocoa mode recovery. Anyways just choose the option to install it from SD card then locate the SD the zip file which should be named AOSP status bar Galaxy Y Archive. Here it is. If you can't see it, this is what it should be named. And select that and just choose yes to install it. And wait for the installation to be complete. There we go, it is done. Press the power button or the back button on your phone to go back and choose the first option the reboot system now. Wait for the phone to reboot and enjoy the new AOSP icons. And these are the final results which you should get. You can see the battery icon, the signal, packet data and Wi-Fi if you have it turned on. And yeah, that is all you need to do. Now this is based off my... Um, I actually forgot the boot's name. Sorry about that. I'm just going to check it out quickly. This is based off XXLH2 system files, the system UI and framework REST APK files. So I cannot guarantee that this will work on your phone, but always remember to do an Android backup before you fast stuff like this, because you may end up in a boot loop. And that is all. Thanks for watching and goodbye.